Rode it with my uh, mom and dad, and then I uh, would ride it with my siblings, and then just I uh, would come here on school functions, and then we would ride it. Me and my friends would ride it together. I just took one of my grand, two of my grandsons, and never been on, and I said we got to do it now or never, you know. So, yeah, it's third generation deal. All different ages can ride it, so you're comfortable riding with your smaller kids or your older kids or grandparents. But it's a family ride. It's kind of hard to duplicate nostalgia. It really is. It's just a fantastic deal, and it's. Day, that was the top of the line. Now we have things so much more top of the line, but I like the old stuff. As fans of the iconic Silver Dollar City ride, Fire in the Hole, take one last ride, families and people ages 9 to 99 are lining up to experience that iconic story of the Bald Knobbers, Red Flanders, and the chance to say that famous phrase, Fire in the Hole! This ride has a true legacy with the park. It's actually one of the oldest, if not the oldest, indoor roller coaster in any theme park, any amusement park in the world. This ride, 51 years old, it's a ride that really made different movements in the amusement industry as far as what can we do with indoor roller coasters. Before you had roller coasters that were located outside, this ride still standing is the oldest of that. Being inside, the water splash at the end, um, the dark ride elements, the powered elements as you're slowly climbing to do the three iconic dips. Parks around the country have really used this ride to model their rides as well. There's just so many fun things inside. You know, we know all the little jokes of Red Flanders fans being stolen. We know fire in the hole at the end. Spoiler, if you haven't been on the ride, that does happen. And you'll get a little wet at the end of the ride. So there's plenty for the whole family to enjoy in this ride. And I think that's what makes it so special. Parents, grandparents, even great grandparents taking their children on this ride is what makes it so unique and special to this park. It's the last chance to ride. We're hearing screams, we're hearing fun behind us. Um, but as the park transitions to uh, next year's growth and years beyond that, it's important we look ahead as well. And so we're making a nod to the past with the grand celebration, the grand finale this year. Um, but you've got until December 30th to ride the ride this year. So this might not be their only chance to ride. I bet some of these families will be back maybe at uh, Harvest Festival or even an old time Christmas. Oh, so iconic. Michael, I know. I know you've spent a lot of time at Silver Dollar City in Branson. Right. How does it feel to say goodbye to this ride? Well, so I mean, Silver Dollar City and Fire in the Hole, they're kind of synonymous together. And I remember riding Fire in the Hole as a little boy with my grandfather, mm -hmm. uh, who's no longer with us, with uh, my parents and, and uh, siblings. And so you have this incredible ride that spanned generations. And we talked to many people on location, Alyssa, about how they felt about Fire in the Hole going away. While they are sad, everybody is excited to see what Silver Dollar City has in store, as am I. I. Of course, they have not made an announcement yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with it. I know. I've ridden it a couple times, and it is a very fun, very historic ride, um, but I'm yeah. excited to see what's yeah, next. Yes, the beauty of the Ozarks, all in one fantastic Always ride. changing. Changes. <laughs>